HTC's Peter Shao shows off the M7 in public. The iOS jailbreak seems just around the corner, and legacy Samsung devices are listed for Jelly Bean. I'm Jaime Rivera, and we're giving Tommy Hilfiger a break this week, and we're going to be using Nautica. This is Pocket Now Daily. If you were wondering if M7 is the code name of HTC's next flagship or if it's really the name, well, Peter Chow just came on a YouTube video screaming M7 like 10 times in the HTC New Year's party, so it could be that the name is M7. But aside from that, he also came on a public TV channel in Taiwan demoing the M7 to the public, so it's clear that this is the device that's coming and he left everybody drooling because the device was in white, so I want it now. Let us see what happens on the event on February 19th. And speaking of HTC, new leaks have the company working on an M4 and a G2 codename devices. The M4 seems to be a good device with a 720p display and the usual suck specs when it comes to specifications. Now, in the case of the G2, sadly, it's a very bad tier, not mid tier, bad tier device with an HVGA resolution display. But we'll see what happens, probably February 19th again. And now the spotlight moves over to Samsung if they just confirmed their plans for Android 4.1 Jelly Bean on their legacy devices. The Galaxy Note, the Galaxy Tab 8.9, and 7 are included, and the list is actually quite big, so make sure you hit the links in the description for the full list. No specific dates are provided for every device, but we do know that the Galaxy Note is receiving the update on March 1st, so stay tuned. And speaking of Samsung, we have a new tablet being leaked this time, codenamed GTP3200, but it's hard to tell if this is the Galaxy Note 8 or the Galaxy Tab 3 that's been being talked about. It probably will be released in MWC, though we don't have an unpacked event being planned for MWC, so it's kind of hard to tell. We'll keep you posted. Obviously, MWC is going to be the show floor. And finally, for the okay news of the day, well, the jailbreak community has just confirmed that their new jailbreak called Evasion is 70% ready for iOS 6. And what's interesting here is that it's not device specific. Apparently, any device running iOS 6 will be allowed to use this jailbreak in order to get the goods. But, well, the problem is they haven't confirmed any specific dates, just 70%. Some people were assuming that it would happen on February 3rd, but I don't think that's going to happen that way. But that leads me to the question of the day. Do you still jailbreak your devices or are you still actually waiting for that to happen. In my particular case, I actually got bored of jailbreaks, and after iOS 5, I pretty much just forgot about it. But leave us a comment down below, is jailbreaking still something you're looking for? And if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and also subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. See you next Monday.